Today we're doing another Amazon Favorites video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of the blog Miss More Style. Here on YouTube I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if you are interested in those topics and you want to see more of my content, then definitely be sure to hit that red subscribe button right down below. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the little bell. That just sends you a notification whenever I upload a new video. Typically I'm on here two times a week, sometimes three. Big freaking announcement. I hit the big 10K last weekend. I am just so over the moon. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you all who has supported me throughout the years. So thank you so much. I want to do a Q&A video coming up really soon because I put on my community tab like a vote like, hey, when I hit 10K, like what should I do to celebrate that? And most of you guys voted for a Q&A. So leave me a comment down below and ask me a question that you would like me to answer in that Q&A video. Please ask away. I want to have all kinds of fun questions to answer. Don't be shy. That question down there. This Amazon favorites video is going to like go through the whole gamut of all different categories of things. It's going to get really random. So I hope Hope you're ready for the ride. If you're interested in anything that you see on today's video, all you gotta do is go right down in the description box. I've got all the links and info for you right down there. Starting with my first Amazon favorite, I just got this and I don't know what took me so long to buy it, but it is one of these really awesome bath caddy things. So I don't know if you've seen these around on Instagram, people living their best self-care lives in the bathtub with this, but this is essentially a wooden tray that you can lay across the ends of your bathtub and you can use it to set a glass of wine on, maybe a candle, maybe some essential oils, your book, your iPad, your phone. It's amazing. And it adjusts for whatever size bathtub you have. So the two sides pull out like this. You can pull the two sides out as wide as you need them to be because I know not everyone's bathtub is the same width. Um, and you've got these little trays that you can put maybe your phone in there if you want. Basically, it's really up to you. It's your bath time. You do you, boo. What I loved about it though, because I've got it kind of backwards. So let me just... Do, 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 do. It's got this little uh, thing that can pop up so you can put like your iPad or your book right here and it's got these little grooves right there. Can you guys see how it has these little indentations? So you could just stick your iPad or whatever there if you wanted to watch Netflix or read a book on your iPad or Kindle, your iPhone there, whatever, and it's gonna sit up nicely for you so you can easily read it. So many of these on Amazon. I found this one to be pretty affordable so that's why I grabbed it. Comes also in a darker wood color if that's more your vibe, but I really liked the lighter natural looking wood the best. All right, the next thing that I have to show you is from Brewmate, and I just wanted to let you all know that this portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Brewmate. If you saw my last summer Amazon favorites video, then you know that I love this brand, and I absolutely love my Hopsilator uh, Slim and my Hopsilator Trio for keeping things like my uh, spiked seltzers and canned wines nice and cold for really long periods of time but they are launching a new product called Toddy. Let me show you. This is the Brewmate Toddy. This is in their glitter charcoal color. How freaking cute. Can we just talk about how cute the sparkly situation is here? I mean, love. So this is Brewmate's first ever coffee mug and it is 100% leak proof. Insulated mug with a nice little handle here that is specifically designed to enjoy your favorite warm drinks at home or on the go. I really think for all of you guys who love to drink coffee, hot tea, hot cider, hot mold wine, you are going to love this. So here's some of the awesome benefits of this mug. First of all, it's the only 100% leak proof insulated mug that's on the market. And when I say leak proof, I mean freaking leak proof. I, let me just show you, this one is empty. This is the, the model, but I got this color also for Nate because I felt like he would really like this like matte green army type of color and like low key, I really like it too. And look, it kind of looks cute with my current manicure. Yes, yes. All right, don't, ju don't judge my nail painting abilities. Okay, that's enough of that. There's coffee in here, you see? It is leak proof, watch this. Not one drop, not one drop comes out of this lid. It is really good for me because I am very clumsy. I tend to spill things inadvertently. It's just like Murphy's Law. If I can spill something, I will. Today, I literally spilled the green nail polish that I painted my fingers with on the carpet. So there you go. Enough about my clumsiness. The, the second great thing about the Brewmate Toddy is that it will keep your drinks hot or if you want, it will keep them cold as well. For 20 times longer than a normal mug. Now, I don't know about you guys, I drink my coffee very quickly. I usually don't have it sitting around for like long periods of time, but let's say I did, and let's say you're the type of person who does like to sip on their coffee over a long period of time. Well, it's kind of a bummer when your coffee starts to get lukewarm or cold, right? When you have it in one of these toddies, it will stay nice and toasty warm, so it is good from the first sip to the last sip, and you will not be dealing with like, 
cold coffee, you know? Mug is also made with a triple layer construction, so that means that there won't be any of that annoying like condensation that like forms like on the outside of it. This is definitely probably one of the like most versatile products I feel like that Brewmate has because you could use it in the morning for your morning coffee or tea, whatever you like, then you could use it in the afternoon um, for more coffee, and then at night, let's say you got some hot cider that's spiked, you can use it for that too. I can totally see Nate and I using and bringing these when we go camping sometime this fall, which Nate really wants to do. I think this would be the great a great thing to bring along, like if you're going to do something outdoorsy, going to the beach, just literally grab this and throw it in a bag because like it's not gonna spill. The other thing that's really cool about this that I just want to note is like when you want to take a sip, like right now it's locked, it's not gonna spill, but you basically pull back this little tab right here and that allows you to woo, flip open the top and it has this little magnet right here and right here and so it magnetizes so that I know sometimes with like cups that have this kind of construction when you're sipping this thing will fall forward and hit you in the face but it doesn't it stays put it's a little bit too hot in this room for me to drink hot coffee though so I'm just gonna um just gonna put that over here now huge purchase that I made in the last month and the one that I do not regret and that is that I bought a new camera here is my new baby. This is the Sony a6400 with the like default lens, the 16 to 50 millimeter lens attached. I have been wanting to upgrade my vlogging camera, which is the one that I have been using for my travel vlogs or like my weekly vlogs was this guy. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. And I bought this camera, I want to say in 2017 when I really wanted to start getting into doing YouTube more and it was a huge regret for me like probably like a month or so after buying it. I wanted to get rid of it ever since and I replaced it with this one. So I just want to do a really quick, uh, very very quick as fast as I can, a little overview as to why I love this camera and this camera is trash. There's a lot of misinformation out there about this camera. A lot of people on YouTube hype this camera up and I'm not like a gear channel or a tech channel but I do create content and I do use cameras so I know something and I'm going to tell you why this camera is great and you should get it and why this one you should never freaking consider getting. You know like most of you all that are watching this probably aren't content creators or YouTubers or aspiring YouTubers. Maybe you're just a person who wants like a nicer camera, nicer than your phone to like document your life, to take pictures for social media, whatever, what have you. So hopefully it helps you guys and if you are um, a content creator and you're thinking about using this camera, freaking listen to me. Okay, so the reason I love this camera and not this one is this one shoots 4K. I'm not going to shoot in 4K all the time but I like that it has the ability to, to future proof me so that as time goes on and 4k becomes more of the norm especially here on youtube this guy can do it this camera does not shoot in 4k it shoots in 1080p you can remove the lens so this is like the you know default lens it's okay it's great it's good for vlogging but this camera you are stuck with the lens that it comes on with this camera sucks my biggest complaint about this camera is the autofocus is terrible i'm sure you've probably seen this in some of my past vlogs where i'm out of focus it's the freaking worst this Sony a6400 has incredibly sharp autofocus. I'm so impressed with it already. I've been vlogging and using it for like the past couple weeks and I'm in L-O-V-E love. Next thing that I have to say about this is the construction of the camera overall just really blows. So let's just turn it on. The lens comes out. It's attached to the camera, right? I don't know if you can see, but it just, it has a bunch of like dust particles that are, that have gotten inside of the lens just from me using it outside. Um, it, stuff happens, stuff gets in there. But what happens is Anytime I'm in the sun and the sun shines at the lens, you can see all the like little dust particles and it looks like little like light things in the shot and it ruins the shot. And the only way to fix that is to take the thing apart and clean it, which is actually freaking so hard to do. You have to have to pay a bunch of money to have someone do it for you who knows what they're doing. Or you have to like cross your fingers and watch a YouTube tutorial. And they were really scary. It involved like screwing into the camera and doing, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So this camera, the lens detaches, so if any dust or anything gets between the lens and the sensor of the camera, you can actually properly clean it and not risk ruining the whole camera. Other thing that I really hate about this camera is the flip-up screen um, is so poorly designed. It's only held in by these two tiny little screws and they get loose over time. And if they get too loose, then the freaking thing will just fall off. That nearly happened to me one time when I was out. So you have to have a really tiny screwdriver on hand with you. And if it is loose at all and you're walking around vlogging, do you hear that? Do you hear that? It, it comes off in your audio on your video. With this one, it also has a flip up screen, but the construction of the flip up screen is so much better. Like it just feels a lot more solid. It looks like it's constructed a lot more solidly. I'm not afraid that this is going to like get loose and have those same issues that the other one does. The other thing is you can attach an external mic to this camera. You cannot attach an external mic to this one. And the thing that really sold me on this was the fact that I could interchange the lenses. So 
if I want to use this camera when I'm traveling, I can take the lens off and put a different lens on if I want a different look. And the thing that really sold me on it is right now I'm filming on my Canon 6D Mark II, which has like my favorite lens on it. And you can buy an adapter so that you, I can use this beautiful lens that I shoot my videos in here on and I can attach it to this camera and take photos on this. And this camera body is way smaller than the thing that I'm shooting on right now. So there's so many things to love about this camera. There's so many freaking things to hate about this. Long story short, don't get this camera. If you were thinking about it, just don't do it. Do not get yourself a Sony. The a6400 is a beautiful camera. It will last you if you take care of it. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I have nothing against Canon, by the way. Like I said, this camera that I'm filming on right now that I film most of my videos on is a Canon and I love her, but for vlogging, I'm just, I'm so excited about this. The next thing that is on my current Amazon favorite list is something that's really fun for your home. And they are the Hue light bulbs. These light bulbs, Nate really wanted for a long time, so we decided to get them, and they're just so much fun. They're basically LED light bulbs that you can install in basically any of your light fixtures that you have around your home, and they are smart light bulbs. So you basically have to buy the light bulbs and you buy this bridge that attaches sort of to your Wi-Fi so that you can control your lighting in your home via your phone, via Wi-Fi. I'm really into this whole smart home thing, and these light bulbs are just so much fun and they're not cheap they're about like 60 something dollars for a light bulb i think you can buy a pack of three and they're slightly discounted so they're not cheap but if you think about it led light bulbs do save a lot more energy than just like regular old light bulbs they're a lot more energy efficient so you're going to save money on your electricity bill it's better for the environment and also just they're just so much more enjoyable i'll insert some b-roll here of how it kind of works but essentially i can say something like, hey Siri, set my movie scene. We have that command for our smart light bulbs and Nate has it all set so that when we say that, all the lighting in our living room dims down to a very low level and the lights become a very bluish color, which is optimal for watching a movie, right? The thing is you can have all different kinds of preset settings and these light bulbs can turn like millions of colors. Like the color wheel, you just drag your finger around and you can make the light bulbs turn whatever color you want. You can turn them, you can dim them from like making them super freaking 100% bright or you can dim them down like however like minute differences that you want. I love these light bulbs. They were definitely an investment, but if you're looking to sort of give your home like a fun, cool upgrade, I highly recommend looking into the Hue light bulbs and they make so many other different products. They make like Hue track lights and all different things. So that is definitely one of my current Amazon faves. On a similar note to like fun home things, another thing that I'm loving this month are the Panasonic Eneloop rechargeable batteries. So I am so hooked on these. I know like so many things around the house are battery powered by either double A's or triple A's. And it's just a pain in the butt when you need to change something's battery, like your remote control or clock, whatever. There's so many things around your house that can run out of battery, but then you don't always have batteries around. Batteries are expensive, not to mention like when you throw them away, that can't be good for the environment, right? So these are amazing because they are rechargeable. So you just basically pop them into this little dock and within like a couple hours, maybe not even that, they're charged and ready to go again and you are reusing the same batteries. That way it's not as wasteful and it's also saving you money because while these batteries are definitely a bit more expensive than um, just say a regular battery would be, the fact of the matter is you can reuse them over and over and over again. I have had people ask me if like the lifespan of the battery seems like it gets shorter over time and I can't really speak to that just because I've had so many of these and I use them in so many different things and some of the things I use them in are things that I like turn off and on and I don't always constantly use them so those things might last like a really long time and then they recharge the battery and then it might seem like it lasts like a really long time and then who knows but I haven't really noticed, like for instance, our TV remote control, that's something we use all the time. It seems like those batteries last for a pretty long time before we have to charge them up again. So this can fit not only um, double A's, but it also can fit triple A's. It has like a smaller little chamber right inside of each one to fit a triple A. This thing is game changing. Everybody needs batteries. This is a good way to just have them on hand all the time and never run out of batteries. My next Amazon favorite has been coming in handy for me in the last month. I've been dealing with a lot of back pain and I decided to get one of these back massager thing it goes on your back like so and it's got these two little arm things that basically you can just rest your arms in so that it kind of like puts pressure on your upper back and it's got the power button there's um, three different intensities right here you can also put on the heat button to make it um, a little bit warm and it just massages your back it has these two like triple like I don't know it feels like they're like three little balls in there that kind of like rotate and then they go the other way amazing I have used this on so many occasions when my back, my upper back especially gets really, really tight just from like stress 
and not having good posture, which I know I should get better about. Um, but this thing has been such a lifesaver. I also like don't always just use it like right on my upper back. Sometimes I can like use it and like position it in other problem areas that are giving me pain. Um, so if you don't have one of these, they're great. They're really not that expensive. I think this one was like around $60 and it has saved my life so many times. Do you guys use blue light glasses? I am terrible about using them, but I'm trying to get better. So I decided I'd go on Amazon and find a cute pair that I like think are adorable and I would want to wear. And I think it's working because I have been using these quite a bit more than the like dinky ones that I'd had for a while that I didn't love. These are just super cute. I love the frame of them. They've got this like sort of retro like grandma chic vibe going on, but I'm, I'm super into it. The construction of them is fantastic. They're really solidly made. I feel like the, the glasses themselves, they have that like yellow tint that's supposed to help with the blue light. These are super cute. I highly recommend these. Blue light is really harmful to your eyes. I think we all know that by now. So when you're on your computer for long periods of time or on your, on your phone, which I'm sure all of us are doing these things way more than we should for work or just because we're on our third hour of scrolling TikTok in the middle of the night. These also help you found when I wear these, especially at night and I'm going to be on my phone or computer. It helps me a lot to like sleep better, I guess, because the blue light can also interrupt your sleep patterns. Looking for cute blue light glasses. I'll link these and I'll link a couple other really cute pairs that I found on Amazon down below. The next thing that I bought from Amazon that I've been loving is my little bust of Diana, I believe is who this is supposed to be. The Greek goddess Diana. This is just so like dark academia vibes if you know what I mean it's very like I don't know it's it's just a vibe I'm really into it she sits on my dresser normally and I I like to use her to put some of my necklaces on that I've been wearing frequently and I think it's kind of a fun piece to have it's just a really elegant piece of decor who doesn't love like a classic Greek or Roman style statue bust in their home I mean very like well made doesn't feel feels like a good weight not too heavy but also like not like you don't pick it up and you're like oh so cheap and light. I just think this is a really cool little accent piece that you could add to your home. You don't have to use it for your necklaces. You could just have it on your bookshelf. It'd be a great way to display her. Class up your home, you know? Just anywhere she put her, she'll class the space up, I think. Right, Diana? Right. I think we're dehydrated. It's too hot in here. Okay, so it's gonna be fall in two seconds. It doesn't feel like it in this room as I keep referencing the fact that I'm melting. But I got myself a pumpkin candle on Amazon. And I know pumpkin stuff is so basic. But <laughs> loving pumpkin scented things is basic then guess what? I'm gonna own up to it. I'm a basic bit. Oh, I love this candle so much. I think this is just a really nice candle. It's very like simple in its design. I like this like brown, ambery colored glass that it's in. It just has a very minimal label. It just will look really nice in my home. I feel like sometimes, you know, like the candle labels are just really tacky. Like I'm looking at you, Yankee Candle. Like I don't need like this crazy picture on the candle. I just want it to be simple so that it blends into my home. And I think this one is beautiful. And it smells beautiful. Got a couple little fashion favorites to share with you. Stay tuned because I'm going to do a full Amazon fall or pre-fall, whatever type of year we're in. Uh, fashion haul coming up really soon where I show you more clothes, but just a couple items that I've picked up recently. I have to talk about the Spanx faux leather leggings. I got these from Nordstrom actually, but they do sell them on Amazon. Um, so if you're looking for maybe a better deal on them, Amazon might be the place. But these leggings, man, ever since I got them, I've just been wanting to wear them, but it's so, so hot. Um, but I would say grab these. If you didn't get them in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, just go ahead and get them here from Amazon. They're such a staple piece. You will not regret getting them. They have really good compression. I feel like they make you look like very slim and they're just, you can wear them so many ways. A lot of you all want me to make a how to style these video. So stay tuned. I have that also on my calendar of uh, videos to film. I will do that very, very soon. Also have to shout out these yoga pants that I recently got from Amazon. They are, they are Reebok, I believe. And I talked about them briefly in my recent athletic, athletic wear haul, but I just want to throw them into this video because I'm obsessed with these leggings. I just love the like shiny quality of them. Something about them just makes me feel like my legs look like they're like copper or something. It's just a really cool effect. I love how they fit. I got a size small and I will say they fit, they used to fit a little bit snug, but they've kind of like loosened up a little bit. So keep that in mind, but I feel like they do fit perfectly. The way that the seams go and that mesh panel that goes up the leg, it just is so flattering. Uh, you can also get these in other colors. They come in a black color. They come in like a sagey green color and I think like a light blue. So if you're looking for a really cool, cute new pair of yoga pants to like get you like motivated to get back in the gym, check these out. So I've been looking for a while for a, just a good tennis skirt right? Like nothing crazy. I just wanted a cute white tennis skirt. The one that I had, I'd gotten from Shein. It was just way too short. Like I felt like I was going to flash people at any time. So I found this one on Amazon, which actually you could potentially play tennis in it because it has 
little shorts underneath, which is great because I feel like with a skirt like this, especially if you're somewhere windy, it's like one wrong breeze and have those little shorts underneath. I got these in a size medium, I want to say. Yeah, I got a medium. I think I maybe could have gotten a small because they're a little bit loose in the waistline, but it's not the end of the world. But I just love this skirt. I think I'm going to use it quite a bit coming into fall, styling it with like sweater vests or chunky oversized sweaters and boots. Um, it comes in a few other colors and I think in some plaids as well. So if you're looking for this skirt and you want the added security of the little bloomers underneath, this is a great find. I've worn this one several times, including on my recent trip to Chicago. Another little find is this knit tank top. I've been really obsessed with like knit tanks lately. And I saw this one. It's supposed to be like a Y2K vibe. I'm not really sure what about this makes it Y2K. I was alive and loving fashion at that time. And I don't remember this being like a thing then. But it is super cute. I love the different colored greens in there. It's it's just a really fun racer back tank. It comes in some other colors as well if you're not into green, but if you didn't know, green is everywhere these days. It is a huge trend. So I really wanted to get like another green piece to sort of add to my outfit. It's pretty thick. So I don't really wear this when it's super hot outside like it is in this room right now. But when it starts to cool down a bit, I think it'll be great. And it's just got a lot of like cool visual All interest. Right. That concludes my Amazon favorites video part, whatever this is. I feel like I've done so many Amazon videos. So make sure if you're not already subscribed that you subscribe for more videos like this one. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what your current Amazon favorites are. Also, don't forget, also comment down below and ask me questions for my Q&A video, please. While you're here, you might as well stick around and watch a couple more videos, right? I've picked these two for you. I feel like you're really gonna enjoy them. So stick around a little while longer, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. All right, bye.